Hi, well, I'm in the rheumatology treatment room. Sorry, my hair is a complete mess today, but I'm using my headphones because I'm in the treatment room getting Solora light, whatever you want to call it. So, um, I'll actually spell it out here on my letter. Z O L E D R O N A T E treatment for osteoporosis. Aka Y, yes. And it's basically half an hour drip and then 15 minutes um, with the like you know just a clean out fusion or you know we like clean out <laughs> I'm finding it hard to like talk at the minute but yeah I just just want to like say that the strip that I get I used to get permitter made um, back in the 90s to the early 2000s and that was ERs a day for three days straight in Musgrave Hospital and I had to get blood tests done twice a day and I was sick, high temperatures, everything like that and then for some reason they took me into a room saying that we can't wait and this is the last treatment of Prometromade that you're getting because um, they're um, it's unsafe, it's got poisons in it. So um, I was like so shocked, but then the, then the like, um, other shocking thing that happened, they said that it will fuck up your baby system, you know? <laughs> and I had trouble getting pregnant. Uh, it took me like nine, ten years to actually get pregnant and then I sadly lost two pregnancies but wasn't the right timing but anyway it's all good because this hair drip is like you know far better um, it gives you a little boost I'm not sure really on the feeling after because it's it's like a strange feeling just you know that you're boosted with a wee bit more of the minerals that your bones need and like you do feel a wee bit more able to go out and do things so hopefully this helps me get out of the house and yeah it's just easier to get out of the house because all as soon as I wake up in the morning, it's like I see caution tape everywhere. It's like I just see caution tape everywhere. It's like I can't leave the house. So whenever I get this, it like kind of boosts me up. And I do, I, I get out of the house, I do things. So, yeah, that's basically on how I feel about it. But you get it once a year, so you do, and um, it's okay, but I would prefer it if they had something stronger that goes into your, actually, like, into your bones, you know, like, like something like, what, what would you call it, a bone marrow, but it's not bone marrow, it's like bone density. Can you not, like, can you not, like, what do you call it? Like, pump up your bones with bone density. Somehow, like, artificial bone density. The way that they do with bone marrow. So, if I'm talking crazy, comment below if I'm talking crazy. But I think it makes a lot more sense if they, like, brought out something that, like, is, like, cement for the inside of your bones and then we wouldn't have to worry about leaving our houses or 
like you know anything like that if it was something concrete <laughs> instead of just like a good feeling after that I can go out and do things and I'm not feeling tired and down you know so yeah maybe that's a new thing maybe they'll get something new because I've been getting this here for like been getting this here since like late 2000s so probably a good 10 years I've been on this here thing so and then the Prometra made I was on it for a good like 8 to 10 years I don't know and then now you maybe are already like something that can go inside your bones to like strengthen the inside of your bones instead of just the minerals around your bones if you know what I mean is that not more of like an effective thing if like if you can do it because if bone marrow can be transplanted why can't like bone density be transplanted you know what I mean <laughs> that's what I always like think on why can't bone density be transplanted but yeah this is for another year and I'll be back here again <laughs> so anyway and the best part about it was I was like so excited to come and get my drips I walked out without my money I've just my bank card on me and they have no bank machine in here and I'm like how am I going to get my car out <laughs> but I think they're going to maybe stamp it for me like the wee drip bottle up there. See, it's not a big drip, you know. But it does you. It does you well. So I'm going to go and let me know what you think. Was I talking shit about the bone density thing, the bone marrow thing? I don't know, but sure. Keep me posted on what you think. I know my hair is a mess and my eyes are. I haven't slept for like, I haven't slept for like two days properly it's just been a nightmare trying to sleep you know getting off of drugs it's just hard to get on that sleeping pattern again so yeah this is today's yearly yearly drip so i'm gonna leave it at that and peace out to you to get my drip so peace out to you bye Hi again. I just wanted to like say, cause like I've got another wee bit of juice to go. <laughs> As you can see, let me see, wee bit just to go. But anyway, just wanted to say that, like, if any of you have like children out there, you know that's maybe got a bit of osteogenesis or what you want to call it, brittle bones, OI, whatever. This treatment is quite good, but the best treatment is always fitness. That's what I always think, like, I can't pronounce the word, but Shankra, Shankra, you get what I'm saying, with a whole like body thing you know with the crystals and stuff like that just always touch around your crystals and make sure you believe in what you believe in but like if one mother sees this and they've got a child with brittle bones ask your doctor about salorally or it's something acid on on like the bottle too like it's acid basically that's in it but just um it does help you get up and go a bit but um nothing is going to heal brittle bones so that's why i came up with that idea of bone density filling <laughs> like try fill the bone density thing and you know like the way they do with the um what you call it that thing, the, the bone and um, thing, uh, bone marrow, 
I'm so stuttering, like, I just, I just, like, I hate being on camera. That's, like, one of the main things, but if this just reaches maybe one or two parents that don't know what they can do, um, ask your doctor about Solorite or, like, you know, I, I've spelled it down in the description button because I can't pronounce all these doctor words. So, yeah. Best getting that or else the tablet. You can get a tablet weekly and they said it's not as good as this drip. So I would rather get one times, one, like one drip compared to like 52 tablets in a year. Like, you know what I mean? Or I, like something like that, isn't it? <laughs> 52 weeks in a year. I don't know. Anyway, but I'm just saying that you can get a tablet now. Ask your doctor about a tablet if you want your kitty go on a tablet once a week, which I, your best not given any tablet, any anything. Just get a drip once a year for 30 minutes and then 15 minutes for a wee like fusion drip, you know, like just to get it on in through your veins and stuff. So I forgot to mention that, the tablet thing. Like, that was my first time ever, like, hearing about a tablet was whenever I came here the day. He said, so you're not on the tablet? And I was like, what do you mean with the tablet? So they said it's a tablet like this here, but the Solorite drip is, like, far more effective. Which I probably feel like it is because the less tablets you take, the more effective anything's going to be on you. So, yeah, just try not to take as much tablets. <coughs> I'm clean now, 13 months off the sniffy stuff, and I'm four weeks clean off my seizure pills and my gabapentin pills. So I'm doing pretty damn well, and I feel pretty damn well, but obviously you feel lost. Like, there's no one to talk to, everybody's still off their heads. Like, you don't want to go out because you'll get tempted. So I've not been out of the house in weeks and weeks and weeks. So I don't get tempted, but yeah, I'm going to go out today and going to do a few things today. So that's all thanks to the trip. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you in the car the next clip or whatever. Peace. Okay, so that's the way you like water and salt or something, a fusion drip just to get the bone drip around my system. So that takes 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, so whatever. Pardon me, and I have to, I have to drink this water. <laughs> very shaky the day, very shaky, but hey, as long as I get my bones in some sort of shape, I'm okay. So yeah, that's that, and then I have to, like, four weeks before you get the drip, you have to take this here, like, it's a vitamin tablet with, like, all this vitamin in it. And then two weeks after today, I have to take the other one of vitamin drips. So, or not vitamin drips, vitamin tablets. So they only give you two. You take one four weeks before and one two weeks after the shoot. <laughs> so then it'll be next year, next October. And... I'll figure out if I want to post it up. But last year I did and I deleted it by an accident. So this year I'm back again. <laughs> so I'll just get off this here wee tiny bag and head home, pick up the pup and go out. Go out in the car and 
just see where the day takes me, yeah. Um, probably only see my mum, because that's the only person I get to see these days. I think it's because of my nerves and anxiety for, you know, not on the drugs. So I'm like always nervous and anxiety is running right through me. So that's why I shake a lot. But yeah, getting there and whoever is coping with a, a drug, a drug like problem, you can do it. I was on it all since I was like 14, apart from skeg and apart from shrooms, apart from LSD, apart from all that there, stuff that can get you on another planet. No, I just wanted to forget about my, br my brittle bones and at the age of 14, it did, it happened, I totally forgot about my brittle bones, I didn't break one bone until I started drinking at 18 and I broke a bone and that's where most of my bones have been broken is on the drink, so I try not to drink now, which is doing which I'm doing well. So yeah, just be safe everybody and if you're having a drug problem, contact me and I'll talk to you if you need a little person to listen to you, I'll do it. <laughs> if it was easy for me to do it would be easy. If you can do it alone, like, you know what I mean? You don't need all the support around you. I, I, like, I have no support and I've done it alone. So, yeah, just trying to keep healthy now with the bones. Saying I'm coming up to 30 next year. And I was told I'd be in a wheelchair by the age of 30. So I'm praying that is not going to happen. So um, I'm doing everything I can to keep out of the wheelchair. I've broke over two, three hundred bones. I've like sixty bits of metal in me. Um, I've five bones out of my feet. Um, broke my neck, <laughs> broke my spine. Oh my god! Like just anything you want to ask me, just comment below or go on any of my social medias. So I'll see you. I'll see you at home, wherever, wherever I pick up at. See you there. Well, that's me home for at least another year. Can't really see where I had it in, but yeah, it's all bruising a bit. But yes, people, that is it. And if you have a child or someone that suffers with brittle bones, osteogenesis, imperfecta, whatever. This strip is quite good. It's only it's, <laughs> it's only a yearly drip. Once a year you need it or else there's them tablets which I don't recommend taking because like I got told awful stories about them. So the drips is the safest way to go. So I'm going to shut I, I was going to say I was going to stop talking, but I'm going to shut the fuck up. And if you, like, I don't know, if you have anybody in your life with brittle bones, and this is the only treatment that's available at the minute. So, unless they bring in my wee idea of bone density, strengthening, like a bone marrow through my bones or something, you know what I mean? But anyway, I doubt they'll fucking even see this video, but as long as it gets out to one or two of you people that have brittle bones, whatever, just go with it, do it. Don't be as scared, I've been getting it. I've been getting it since early 90s, was the Prometromid and then the, um, and then it moved over to the Solorolite. So, yes. So, I'm going to say bye-bye now. Bye! <laughs>